ट्वेंटी क्लास टेन चैप्टर नंबर थर्टीन मैग्नेटिक इफेक्ट्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक करंट चिल्ड्रन इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी स्टडीड अबाउट व्हाट इज मीन बाय इलेक्ट्रिक जनरेटर एंड आल्सो वी स्टडीड हाउ इट कंस्ट्रक्ट्स एंड वर्किंग एंड व्हाट प्रिंसिपल इट वर्क्स ऑल सच थिंग्स वी हैव स्टडीड इन द प्रीवियस क्लास सो इन टूडेज क्लास वी विल स्टार्ट विद न्यू वन मोर टॉपिक कॉल्ड डोमेस्टिक इलेक्ट्रिक सर्क्यूट्स means how the electrical wires which is coming from the power supply is going to arrange in our house we are going to study we know children generally electricity or electric current is produced at power stations so from the power station how the current is transferred to our house that we are going to study under this topic and this figure clearly shows a small picture about how the transmission of an electric current takes place in a house that is in the domestic so children whatever the current which is coming from the power station it goes to a cable imagine that this is a cable it consists of a two wires in that isn't it which is made of a copper and the one will be in a red color and the second one will be in a black color isn't it children understanding the cable which is coming from the power station generally with the from the electric pole or through the underground cables it consists inside two types of a wires the one which is red in color is called as a live wire which is also represented with the letter l the one more wire is called as a uh, neutral wire which is often represented as a letter n means this live wire will be in a red color means a red insulation will be made for that wire whereas for the neutral wire black color will be made means black insulation will be made and there is one more wire called uh, earth wire which is of in the color green green that is one earth wire isn't it this doesn't comes from the what electric poles whereas these two wires is coming through the cable and these two wires are just connected to the board which is fitted outside of our house isn't it children here this box is called as a main fuse and after the main fuse you will get a board called means a reading board called meter board or electricity meter board we call and after that you will get a distribution box it consists of a uh, different fuses and switch on buttons it consists isn't it then from this distribution box and it is connected to what various rooms isn't it what this is what a simple connection of a domestic electric circuits so here one of the wire which is coming from the cable is of live wire the another one is called neutral wire isn't it children one wire is what live wire generally this live wire have a high potential nearly 220 volts understanding children it have a uh, capacity that is 220 volts energy it is carry whereas the neutral wire carries 0 volts means it is underground children it is ground and its value having a what 0 volt so the total potential difference between these two wires in india you will get that is potential difference is 220 volts means 220 volts uh, energy is going to supply for the domestic electric circuit suppose in one mark what is the potential difference across the domestic electric circuits means you have to write 220 volts isn't it this much of energy is going to supply in our house so 
here this live wire which is having a high potential suppose if we touch means it is harmful children there is a chance of getting electric shock sometimes if we touch this neutral man, wire means it is not making that much of a harm isn't it no problem comes with this neutral wire whereas suppose if you touch the live wire means there is a chance of getting electric shock and one more wire this line represent earth wire isn't it earth wire will be present so whatever the current is coming from the cables it passes to the two wires that is live wire which is having a high voltage nearly 220 volts and the one more wire called neutral wire will be passed these two wires now get connected with the main fuse isn't it children this part is called what here main fuse so from the main fuse the live wire and the neutral wire get connects to the meter board isn't it electricity meter board will be present and in this you will find uh, some uh, readings children isn't it uh, we are familiar with the paying of uh, electricity bill how they will pay um, we will pay children depending on what basis uh, they are charging that is they will calculate the units which it has giving you no know, the meter board a small display will be present means how many units we are consuming or utilizing depending upon that the electricity department they will charge means they will give a electricity bill so the main function of a meter board is to record the units how much we have consumed good children so these two are insulated by the electrical departments isn't it children these fuse and a meter board what they will do they will nicely they will insulate that isn't it because it should not get damaged or the live wire will be present here so it should not get electric short to the any people so to add that uh, generally what happens electricity departments they will do insulation for this and from the meter board the live wire and the neutral wire passes to one more box called distribution box in this box many switches and fuses will be present switches and fuses will be present isn't it children it, this distribution contains what separate switches and uh, fuses and from this distribution box by a parallel combination the electrical circuit that is passed for a different rooms with the help of a separate sockets isn't it children here what is happening the live wire and the neutral wire gets passed to the distribution box and in the distribution box separate switch uh, on and off buttons will be present along with the fuses and here one more thing you have to note it down children uh, generally for the domestic purpose that is for the domestic purpose two types of circuits will be present one is 5 amperes fuse will be present generally this 5 amperes fuse will be connected for that is the uh, lightning circuits children Exam uh, lightning circuits 5 amperes we will give that is for fans lights tv etc for all such uh, different components 5 amperes fuse will be get connected here whereas one more fuse called 15 amperes fuse will be present in the distribution box and generally this 15 amperes fuse will be given for power ratings power rating circuits means the components which use a high amount of a current isn't it for example you can take electric stove here electric stove gazer refrigerator ac isn't it all such heavy electrical appliances will be get connected to 15 amperes fuse 
understanding children generally in the domestic electric purpose two types of electric circuits will be present and depending upon that different fuses will be connected 5 amperes uh, fuse will be kept for fans lights bulbs tv etc then similar 15 amperes fuse will be given for power rate circuitings like electrical stove gas refrigerators ac understanding children once again shall i repeat from the electrical poles through the cables two wires are passing to the main fuse this main fuse which have nearly 50 amperes of current children it can hold up to 50 amperes of a current isn't it suppose if it exceeds then it starts overheating and starts melting and what happens it will break and it will uh, won't allow the current to pass for the next components at all isn't it the main fuse have a capacity of around 50 amperes of current isn't it and the same current passes to meter board and from the meter board it has given connection to distribution box and this distribution box contains separate switches and uh, fuses and here different electrical appliances are made parallel connection isn't it from the power rating circuits different electronical components they will be connected to parallel combination the main advantage of using parallel combination you know children suppose if in one room that is uh, take for example uh, refrigerator it got damaged due to high electrical current means what happens still we can see the running of a fans in the next room because it is in a parallel isn't it so the effect of a one component still it will uh, doesn't make any changes for the next one means remaining will be in a operation in a running condition only isn't it and also one more advantage of uh, making use of a parallel combination is the same voltage should uh, get at, at different rooms isn't it we have what different rooms across the different rooms different electronical components will be there present isn't it these all different electronical components should get the same voltage so this can be achieved only by using a parallel so this is what the advantages of a parallel combination across the domestic electric circuits whereas the fuse wire will be made in series isn't it children fuse is made in series with the electrical circuit whereas the different electrical components across different rooms they are made parallel connection and one more wire which is of in a green color just connects to the electrical com components isn't it that is uh, here you can find this is what live wire and this is what neutral wire and for the plug that is the socket one more wire is just connected children and it is called earth wire you know, is the role of earth wire earth wire has get connected to the metallic parts of the uh, electrical appliances such as electric stove generator sorry refrigerator geyser etc isn't it children so how this is made by a method called earthing earthing is a safety measure children where the earth wire is get connected to the metallic part deep into the ground near the house you can find this children isn't it earthing can be done near our houses means the earth wire from these metal parts is get connected to the ground means to the earth isn't it so by making earthing we can prevent the electrical shocks children you know these electrical appliances will have a metallic body we already learned that metal is a good conductor so there might be a passing of a current to these metal parts of the appliances so to avoid this an earth wire will be used you can look at here at this socket one wire is coming from here isn't it this is what earth wire so suppose if the metal part of the appliance got current means it directly passed to the ground and that method is called as the earthing 
earthing so it prevents what getting a electrical shocks it prevents from electric shocks got it children what is mean by earthing earthing is a safety measure where the earth bar is get connected to the ground and it prevents us from getting a electrical shocks this is what a simple domestic electric circuits and here uh, due with the help of a separate switch on and off buttons and the electric wires will be get connected to a different rooms isn't it so now we will see what happens if the electric wires if exceeds its certain value means if the electrical wires in that the current if it exceeds the maximum value what happens we will see you know the electric wires are made of a copper because it have a low resistance and these wires will have a maximum value of a passing current suppose if it exceeds its uh, maximum value then what happens the wire starts getting heated isn't it imagine that this is a wire it can allow a maximum amount of a current isn't it children smoothly it can allow suppose if it exceeds exceeds its maximum value this is what wire isn't it made of a copper metal and if it exceeds its maximum value then two circumstances will occur means two situations will occur children one is short circuiting the other one is overloading these two situations occurs if fan high current will flows in a y you know what is mean by short circuiting it is a situation where live wire comes in contact with the neutral wire live wire comes in contact with neutral wire that situation is called as a short circuiting isn't it children for example imagine that children this is live wire and this is what neutral wire l is nothing but a live n is nothing but a here neutral wire suppose while transferring if they do touch each other there is a chance of a turning isn't it children so what happens now means there may chance of occurring a fire at here isn't it when the live wire comes in contact with the neutral wire there is a chance of getting fire and that situation is called as a short circuiting and generally this short circuit may occur due to maximum current flowing in the wire that is Uh, if it exceeds its current in the wire it may occur or there is a chance of also occurring when these two wires get touch each other means when these two wires will do contact each other then also short circuit will occur or even if the insulation is uh, torn also this may happen children then what is mean by overloading the name itself saying children here something called current is overloaded isn't it children overloading means here if current exceeds its maximum value the wire gets heated up and it leads to what fire and this overloading under this situation the wire may catch fire generally this overloading may occur due to if heavy electrical appliances running or using at same time you know children geyser 
ఎలక్ట్రిసిటీ దాన్ మోటో గ్రైండో దిస్ ఆర్ ఆల్ వోన్ హెవీ ఎలక్ట్రికల్ అప్లయన్సెస్ వీ ఆర్ సేయింగ్ ఎస్ ఇన్ చిల్డ్ర ఇఫ్ ఆల్ దీస్ ఆర్ అట్ ఎ టైమ్ ఇఫ్ ఈ యూజ్డ్ మీన్స్ దిస్ ఈజ్ ఆల్సో వోన్ హై కరెంట్ మోటర్ ఆల్సో వోన్ హై కరెంట్ గ్రైండర్ ఆల్సో వోన్ హై కరెంట్ దిస్ హై కరెంట్ సమ్ టైమ్స్ ఇన్ ద వైర్ మే ఇంక్రీజ్ ఇట్స్ టెంపరేచర్ మీన్స్ దిస్ హై కరెంట్ కెన్ బోర్స్ ఇన్ ద వైర్ మీన్స్ ఇట్ గెట్స్ ఓవర్ హీటెడ్ so it will lead to what over loading and there is one more situation called suppose if all the components all the appliances connected to single or same socket imagine the children this is a socket isn't it for this socket only if we connected tv then um, stove or else better you take that is fridge washing machine all such machines or appliances if we are connected to the same socket means there is a chance of a overloading so overloading is a situation where an abruptly increase of a current can be seen here and it may lead to catching a fire so to avoid the children we use fuse isn't it to overcome these problems we use what fuse we know that a fuse is a safety device which protects us from getting what damage to the electrical components and it mainly works on heating effect of electric current heating effect of electric current isn't it this all working and principle and uh, how it is constructed we have studied in the previous chapter isn't it a fuse is a wire which is made of tin and which is inside that a small thin wire will be placed children and it is enclosed by a cartridge and at the end you will get a metal caps isn't it this is what how it is formed and this fuse wire starts melting if an high current passes to the appliance so with the help of a fuse we can protect the what electrical appliances means we can prevent overloading and nowadays one more we can hear children that is called mcbs have you heard about mcbs children that is miniature miniature circuit breakers generally this mcb works on magnetic effect of electric current magnetic effect of electric current you know children inside that small magnet will be used here so if an high current passes to the domestic system means this automatically makes switch off and thereby it makes what open circuit it won't allow the current to pass to the next components so the role of mcc mcb is to automatically switch off when a high current flows in the circuit got it children whereas mcb works on magnetic effect of a electric current you forget about this children even you go to higher classes you are going to study come back to the fuse a fuse mainly works on joule's heating effect of electric current and it is always connected remember children carefully this should be made in series in an electric circuit a fuse must be placed in a series isn't it got it children now how domestic electric circuits will be arranged it consists of a two wires means the cable which is coming from the power station consists of a two wires red wire that is red insulation wire called live wire and a black insulation wire called neutral wire and they will first pass to the main fuse which have a 50 amperes of current and then it passes to the electrical board 
it gives the readings of uh, units then it goes to distribution box and from the distribution box uh, for a uh, different rooms electric electric current will be passed it means that in the distribution box separate switches and uh, fuses will be present depending upon that we have a 5 amperes current and a 15 amperes fuse system if we are using heavy appliances means we should go for 50 amperes current suppose if we are using only bulbs fans means it is enough to go for 5 amperes fuse and each and every house should be made by a earthing earthing will protect us from a getting a electrical shocks because whatever the current is passed to the metal parts of the appliances it will be cash and the same uh, current is passing to the ground so by making so we are protecting from the getting a electric shock then comes what uh, under two situations there is a chance of a increase of a current that is what short circuiting and the overloading short circuit means suppose if a live wire comes in contact with the neutral wire that is called as a short circuit and overloading means if too many appliances isn't it are using at the same time or if they have got connected to the same socket isn't it or suppose if any faulty or damaged insulation wire if we use there is a chance of getting overloading got it children this is all about domestic electric circuits